and welcome to this week's Warriors HQ where we look ahead to Friday night's match against Connacht and reflect on last weekend's loss against Scarlets in the Guinness Pro 12 opening match. Coming up in this week's show we've got highlights of our 16-10 defeat to Scarlets, an exclusive interview with new signing Sila Puafisi and we catch up with Al Kellogg and Alex Dunbar at Edinburgh Castle as it's revealed that BT Murrayfield will host the Guinness Pro 12 final. At the weekend, Glasgow Warriors took on Scarlets in their first game as Guinness Pro 12 champions, but ultimately losing 16-10. Here is the best of the action, as well as exclusive interviews with debutant Scott Cummings and try scorer Glenn Bryce. In the cloud and you you feel it too but i told you that we figure it out all these old fools that we're better without and you you know it's true yeah tell me tell me tell me what it is that you need cause i think i'm on to something Glenn, a loss in the first game of the Pro 12 season, what's your reaction? Uh, obviously I'm a bit gutted, but um, just this first half we didn't turn up as a, a team. And we just gave two, uh, two early on tries, which is which is hard to go back to in this, uh, in this uh, game. Ahead of next week's game against Connor, what things are you going to be looking to work on? Um, just what we need is work in defence as well, just a couple of soft tackles. Um, and just starting starting hard from the, from the start, steady. Uh, backtracking from early on which we just can't, can't come back from. Scott, you made your debut for the club tonight, how did you find it? Uh, it was tough, it was a tough game, the Scarlets showed up and we knew they were going to be very physical so coming into the game that was something we were focusing on and it was a, definitely a tough encounter. You were in sort of a quite experienced forward pack with uh, guys like Jerry Yanuyanatawa, Adam Ash, um, Josh Strauss but you were calling the line outs, how did you find that? Uh, it was good, it was completely different from all the I've done before, and uh, but they're all great players, they all gave me a lot of confidence, talked about what calls they wanted, what calls everyone felt was working, and I had a lot of chat from everyone, so that helped me out a lot, definitely. It was perhaps a disappointing result, but how confident are you that the boys can bounce back against Connacht this Friday night? I'm very confident, I mean, I think we didn't quite show up at the start of the match, but in the second half we definitely bounced back and controlled a lot of the ball, and I feel that if we do that for the 80 minute performance that we can be a very strong team and bounce back hard. It was recently announced that Glasgow Warriors were signing Tongan internationalist prop Sila Puafisi and he was at Scotland this week doing his medical ahead of the Rugby World Cup. Here is the exclusive interview. Sila, you've signed for Club the Warriors, you're at Scotland today for your medical. What are your impressions of the stadium and the club? Yeah, it's, um, it's different um, set up. Um, it's good uh, environment around here. Meet some of the coaches and stuff, and also the, some of the players. And like, if I feel like I'm welcoming in this um, in the stadium, and also the training 
uh, facilities. And in May, Glasgow Warriors won the Guinness Pro 12. How aware were you of that success? That was the most uh, thing that um, I was like, um, think was stuck in my mind. Like they won the Pro 12 last season, and um, it's it's good to play with uh, in a team that like um, always win. It's and I feel like it's it's good to be here as well. And obviously you'll be looking forward to the Rugby World Cup, but beyond that you'll be coming back to uh, Glasgow Warriors to help us with our um, European and Guinness Pro 12 campaigns. How much are you looking forward to getting started with all of that? I'm excited to um, to um, coming back for to to join the, the club and to be in a different level of uh, rugby. And um, so I'm so excited to be to be here with uh, Glasgow. Glasgow Warriors return to action this Friday night against Connor at Scotsland Stadium with the kickoff at 7.35. The last remaining tickets are available now from glasgowarriors.org or call the ticket office on 0844 800 3490. So Alex, we're here at Inver Castle today for the big announcement that the Guinness Pro 12 final will be held at BT Murrayfield next season. That's really good news, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's fantastic for Scottish rugby and you know for the fans of Scotland as well. It's a great opportunity for hopefully a Scottish side to make the final again and really get behind the team. A huge incentive for the Warriors to, to get back to another final. Yeah, obviously last year was good. Um, you know, with the great support went over. So hopefully this year, you know, Glasgow can repeat it again and um, you know the fans can really get behind us and we'll get a great home support to the final hopefully. It's great news. Um, obviously got some great memories from the last two years. Um, even that trip over to the RDS where we, we learned a lot of lessons which and set us up for that, that win at the Kingspan just last May. I mean, BT Murrayfield is a, a fantastic stadium, it's a, it's a great pitch to play on. I've been lucky enough to play there many times and I'm sure it'll be a, a huge occasion. It's uh, an hour along the M8 uh, for Glasgow's point of view would be phenomenal if they can, can manage to get there again, but every team will be looking to get into that final. The, the, the thing about the uh, the final and how far away is it from a, from a player's point of view is it's got to be one, one step at a time and from a Glasgow Perspective is about getting back to winning ways on, on Friday night against Connor. Warriors HQ returns next week where we'll have highlights and exclusive interviews from Friday night's match against Connor. Catch it all on youtube.com forward slash Glasgow Warriors. <laughs>